Franz Friedrich Bohm, born on April 15, 1885, in Zeltweg, Styria, Austria, is a figure whose military career is marked by both accomplishment and infamy. Over the years, he served in various armies, rising to the rank of general during World War II. However, his legacy is tarnished by his involvement in war crimes, particularly his role in the massacre of thousands of Serbian civilians during the conflict. Bohm's life and career reflect the complex and morally ambiguous nature of wartime leadership. Early Career and World War I Franz Bohm's military journey began in October 1900 when he joined the Austro-Hungarian army as a cadet. His dedication and skills saw him commissioned as a lieutenant in an infantry regiment in 1905. Like many of his generation, he experienced the horrors of World War I, serving in the Austro-Hungarian army. After the war, Austria was drastically reshaped, and the Austro-Hungarian Empire ceased to exist. Bohm continued his military service, transferring to the newly formed Austrian Bundeswehr. Joining the Wehrmacht in 1938, as Germany annexed Austria in the Anschluss, Bohm's career took a new direction. He transitioned to the German Wehrmacht, replacing Austrian Chief of Staff Alfred Janser. This transition marked the beginning of his association with Nazi Germany. World War II and Military Success During the early years of World War II, Bohm commanded the 30th and 32nd Infantry Divisions, participating in the invasion of Poland in September 1939 and the Battle of France in May and June 1940. His military prowess earned him the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross on June 29, 1940, a significant honor in the German military. Controversial Actions in Serbia one of the darkest chapters of Bohm's career unfolded during his time as commanding general and commander of Serbia from September 16, 1941, to December 2, 1941. It was during this period that he ordered the reprisal executions of 2,000 civilians in Kragujevac in response to a partisan assault on German soldiers. The brutal retaliation resulted in the massacre of thousands of innocent Serbian civilians. Change of roles In December 1943, Bohm took on a new role as Deputy Commanding General of the 18 Corps and Commander of Wehrkreis 18 in Salzburg. His leadership responsibilities continued to evolve, and on June 4, 1944, he assumed command of the 2nd Panzer Army in the Balkans. Trial and Tragic End Bohm's actions in Serbia would come back to haunt him. After being captured in Norway, he faced trial at the Hostages Trial, a division of the subsequent Nuremberg Trials. He was charged with war crimes committed in Serbia, particularly the indiscriminate retaliation against Serbian civilians. As the prospect of extradition to Yugoslavia loomed, Bohm chose a tragic end to evade justice. He committed suicide by jumping from the fourth story of the prison where he was being held. His death prevented him from being held accountable for his actions, and his body was interred at St. Leonard Friedhof in Graz, Austria. Legacy and Awards Franz Bohm's legacy is deeply polarized. While he achieved significant military success and was decorated with awards such as the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross, his involvement in war crimes, particularly the massacre in Serbia, stains his reputation. His story serves as a reminder of the complexities of wartime leadership, and the moral dilemmas faced by those in positions of power during times of conflict. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video. You can also help to support of my channels at PayPal details in the description box below.